when did you first get acquainted with Harpies and, and what was the relationship like with the, the Mexican neighborhood? I remember when um, the OGs, I remember back in, man, what year was that? Was that 76, I think it was, when they had blocked Adams Boulevard and they let the lowriders come down Adams Cruise the Boulevard from like, I think it was like Hoover to Normandy. And the harpies in the neighborhoods was all cruising the boulevard. That was a historical shit in the families. Frog's brother, Papa T, had a, like a 60, what the fuck he had, like a 62 Chevy. And I think Nono had like a 61 Chevy. And it was some more of my, I remember this, I'm a kid. This is like historical times. This is like Boulevard Nights type shit. I've been around all, man, I, when I was a kid, I'm telling you, I go, I remember the Harpies. I remember the Al Capones. At 24th and Congress, West Side Al Capones. The Playboys. See, you gotta remember something. I was, okay, here we go back to the school districts. Remember now, okay, junior high school, you had people in our neighborhood that went to Berendo. You understand what I mean? The Playboys had Berendo. You had a lot of a lot of the Mexican guys in our neighborhood that ended up being Playboys, but a lot of them ended up turning into Al Capones later on. You know, a lot of our OG homies went to Berendo. Because remember now, if you came out of the area around uh, or south of the cemetery near Washington, like say between Normandy and Vermont in that area, Berendo was your school district. There was a lot. There were blacks. There were a lot of blacks in Berendo back early on. And a lot of the OGs, a lot of the OGs around the time, after Blood Alley, they still lived over there. And Berendo would be just a little bit north, what? Uh, Pico, of Pico or Olympic, Berendo, somewhere. somewhere back in that area, yeah. Off of a Berendo. Off Berendo. Yeah. But our relationships with them back then, we always had, we, the one thing in our neighborhood, we always had good relationships with, with, the, with the Mexican gangs in our neighborhood. Even the Drifters and the Harpies and the Al Capones and the Harpies. Drifters fought Harpies. We always had good relationship with drifters and harpies, even though they didn't get along. Okay, but the Al Cap you said the Al Capones were on 24th and Congress, but that- Al Capones on 24th I knew that area. as drifters area. I'm talking about before drifters. Okay, so drifters weren't there at that time. It was the Al Capones over here in 1980. When I was going to, to um, when I, I, I grew up with them dudes. They went 24th with me. Because remember, funny thing in our neighborhood, you ever noticed that Normandy divided up the Mexican gangs? Yeah, because the drifters are on on the west side of, of Normandy. Right, and the Harpies, and Harpies are on, on the east, east side. side. But, but, but if you go back in time, I think 24th Street was over there too. I think there was a set called 24th Street over there also. I'm not sure, but I think. But I remember a time also when the, the guys, a lot of the guys over there were claiming Playboys because they went to um, Berendo. Was there ever a time in that area there was a 18th Street that you remember? I remember people from 18th Street, and I think 18th Street, at before, before the conflict with 18, I think that there were 18s in there. They never had a neighborhood over there. You know how did you say that? On top of Sugar Hill, Hobart and 25th, there's a big building right there. When I was growing up, I'm talking about when I was little, when I'm, really, I'm young still, this was me in my youth, uh, elementary school age, there were 18th Streets in the building on Hobart, and 25th, right? But now watch this. There were harpies in the building on, is that 22nd and Hope, Harvard? But right the same way, that big building next to First Amy Church, there were harpies in that building. Because I remember Pedro and them was up there. It was Pedro and them, right? Them was my friends when we was kids growing up. And the 18th Streets were in the other building because of the fact that the Al Capones and the eight, they used to all be cool over there at first. Um, Smiley from 18th Street used to be over there. This was a long, this is a, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, about around 80. And, they, and the 18th Streets and the Harpies were already rivals. They were already rivals. Yeah. But everybody was young though. These were all, everybody was young. In re, the reality of this is, was these were a bunch of kids that weren't established. Really, in as what they were, there were a few people that were established, right? So in the neighborhoods, you might have a guy, the guy, one guy in this, in this building that might be from 18th Street, might have been trying to turn everybody out over here at 18, but in, around the corner, they had the Harpies doing the same thing. But this was more in the Harpy, more Harpy territory. So you know what I mean? That was and that was all on Sugar Hill. That's back in 
That's back when we was kids, and, and we didn't we didn't have any rivalry with either one. That's long before the Bloods and 18th Street started getting it. Yeah, that that comes way later. That comes that comes way later. So you know what I mean. Now, um, I was looking at an article where uh, an 18th Street dude went to prison for a murder of a Harpies on Bud Long and 27th in 1980 or 81. They've been rivals for as long as I can remember. They've been into it as long as I can remember. I can't recall when they wasn't when they weren't rivals. And I was surprised when I was reading that because I knew Harp Harpies has a big area today, but I didn't know they was all the way down on Budlong and 27th back yeah. in 1980. Hell yeah, that's the that's like the core. They always been in that area. This us they, us and the Harpies have always been coexisting in the same area around there, around Normandy, around that Budlong area. Around, you know what I mean, Catalina, uh, or that whole little zone right there. We've always been coexisting in that area, because it affected. There was um, what was the, what is that called? Juliet Street, where the laundromat is at. Up in that area right there was Juliet. I remember, old, I remember the OG Harpies. Oh yeah, they used to be posted up at that laundromat back in the Juliet day. Juliet Street. <laughs> yeah. That was the, 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 the and, and um, I used to hang out with uh, when I was young, I used to hang out with the Harpies when I was a teenager on uh, 27th Street, Rathon and Junior. Who the fuck else was that? I think it was Wicked. We used to hang out at uh, when Pioneer Chicken was up, when it used to be Pioneer Chicken. And we used to all be up there around Pioneer Chicken. In the 20s, there used to be 20s up there, and there used to be Harpies up there. Right over, over back in, that, that was back in the 80s. And we used to, so we used to all be out there, Rathon, but, well, it would be Rathon and Junior, and there used to be a gang of them, and Wicked, and there used to be a gang of us out there. Where was the Pioneer Chicken at? 27th Vermont. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.